down trees and power lines still litter Harrelson County tonight. The National Weather Service was out there today. They were surveying the damage up close. 11 Alive's Bill List spent the day with their meteorologist in Buck Cannon. He has the very latest for us. Bill? Well, Jeff, we spent the day out here in Harrison County with the National Weather Service as they surveyed all of the damage that was here. They're still trying to put together the puzzle as to what happened, either tornadoes or straight wind damage. We have confirmed just a few moments ago that there were two tornado hits that did hit Harrison County. They've both been confirmed. One was an EF1, winds of up to 95 miles an hour. The other one was an EF0, which would have winds basically at 85 to 90 miles an hour. Now, there is extensive damage here in Buck Cannon, as you can see from this house that sits right behind me. A team with the National Weather Service crisscrossed Harrelson County with a carefully surveying the damage in an effort to separate the wind damage from tornado damage. They were matching radar images that they took last night into what exactly was happening. Now, the big question was, was it a tornado or straight winds or a combination of both that slammed into Georgia from Alabama? And as we just told you, we were able to confirm two tracks here in Harrelson County, one an EF1 and one an EF0. Keith Stellman, the National Weather Service chief meteorologist who works out of Peachtree City, led the team. He's still piecing that puzzle together. He called this one quite challenging. If we see a, a track that's, oh yeah, that's tornadic, we'll pull that out and separate that and, and begin that process. But it may take a little while to separate it all. Have you found that yet? Have you found any kind of an actual tornado track? Uh, possibly back in Buchanan. There's a signature on radar that correlates with the damage back there that looks more tornadic. That may be more tornadic. This possibly here that we're looking at here, there's stuff through Tallapoosa that's difficult to try and separate, but that's the part of the puzzle we're trying to figure out. Well, as we just told you, there were two confirmed tornado hits here, one at EF1 and EF0, and the rest of it, straight wind damage in Harrison County. Reporting live from Buchanan, Bill Liss, 11 Alive News.